It's the Mexican town where it's Christmas every day. Tlapuhawa, hidden in the country's southwestern mountains. Everyone else might be just getting ready for the holiday season now, but here they've been at it all year, churning out 35 million Christmas spheres from January to December. The pride of Tlaupuhawa is our spheres. They're a piece of our heart and our understanding. From the glass blowers to the painters, all of us put a part of ourselves in them. Townspeople say they're special because they're handmade, from the final licks of paint and glitter to their beginning, where master glass blower Augustine, who's been working at it for more than 30 years, puffs out fresh shapes. Like so many here, this is everything to him. It's really important to me and my family. It puts food on the table. It means that my children can study. Christmas ornaments resurrected the town from a tragedy, a huge landslide that engulfed it and put an end to its gold mining industry in the 30s. It was lost till migrant Joaquin Munoz came back from Chicago with some new know-how, how to make Christmas tree baubles. He quickly set up his business, and the rest is local history. This is his son, Jose Luis, in the museum dedicated to his parents. When my dad returned from Chicago, he told my mom what he had learned, and they started the process of glass-blowing Christmas spheres. Since then, Tlapuhawa ornaments have decorated the Vatican and the White House. About 60% of the spheres in Tlapuhawa are exported now, so it's not just Christmas Central in Mexico, it's an international seasonal powerhouse. Still looking around the town, a question remains. Sometimes, don't you all get a bit tired of Christmas? There's no tiredness because every year we're waiting for it, excited because we know we're going to give joy to the homes in Mexico. It's a good PR answer, but there's truth there too, for a town that saved itself through Christmas. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Tlapuhawa. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.